All hey, right. Hey. Hello, everybody. Is there anybody in here right now? I don't see anybody in the chat. Let me look and see. Let me open it up in YouTube and see what I got there. I don't show anybody watching. It may just be you and me right now. Okay. They don't hear nothing? It's not even on. Yeah, it is. Marie's, Marie's trying to find it. Go to it says we're live. I've got it on YouTube right now. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, it's up now. Yeah, I got it. I got it on YouTube. It's buffering, but I got it. I've been having nothing but trouble today with, <laughs> with everything. I mean, it's almost a joke. What? What's what? With all my, I mean, all my, all my communication stuff is just like nuts. I mean, <clears throat> my well. my computer kept all of a sudden. They're trying to get me to go to. Um, Badass ninety three Stang, how you doing? Hey Marie, I'm sorry. They're trying to they're trying to get me to Windows eleven. Okay. Uh oh. So, so since last night, all they kept doing all <laughs> once once to uh, reboot, um, uh, you know, all that stuff. So I'm just I, everybody I talk to that has eleven, I'll lose some of my stuff that I'm used to, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I'm not that savvy to, to be playing with it at this juncture. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, what the heck? Oh, can't stop walking, but love mowing and cruising. How you doing? <laughs> that's that's some title. <laughs> yeah. He's got some good. Vid he's been posting up his cruise lately. His where that he went on, and man, he's got some great videos on his cruise from his cruise. See, you had a good night last night with, with Michelle. That was that was a pretty I, good thing. Yeah, I loved it. It was great. Yeah. And I was trying to I was on Charlie's live today, but all of a sudden it just went kaput. Yeah, Charlie Charlie went up real quick to um he's still still getting his feet wet with it. He wants to start doing some more lives and stuff. Uh he and he played with uh YouTube on it. I don't know anything that much about you going live with YouTube. And um I assumed that he was on stream stream you. That's where I, I went wrong. I'm telling him where to go and he, he had no idea. Yeah. Because it wasn't because it wasn't there, that's for sure. But. I'm glad you got off work. It's a, man, I don't know what it's doing where you live, but right here it is raining and nasty and cold. Yes. Yesterday we had um it was kind of cloudy, a little damp. Yesterday, it's fifty-two. I mean, it's cold last night. It was like thirty-four last night, but uh, it's it's chilly. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's... Hey Siri, what's the temperature? It's forty-three degrees outside. Forty-three right now. Okay, I just looked at mine. My my, my my not my Siri, but my uh, Alexa. I got to wake up before I can talk to her. <clears throat> mm -hmm. She's she's very grumpy. I got the retired edition. <laughs> <laughs> so you got. You got elixir. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got <an> amnesia. <laughs> oh, oh man. Too, oh. Funny, too funny. Well, tomorrow I go to the doctor and find out what this mess was all about. I was gonna say I, that's amazing you said that. I was just about to say, have you figured have you figured out from the doctor what it was? No, we're going I'm going tomorrow at nine o'clock and uh we'll we'll find out. I don't think it was anything, honestly. You know, Did it hurt? got the, no, not 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 like my back did. I mean, they did. She did a nice job on it. I mean, no, I mean the 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 nodule itself. Did it hurt? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it it, it bothered. You know what? It, it, it didn't. It didn't. You know, Mike. You know, when you know something's there, and it just was felt. You know, felt kind of crazy. So I, I, let me get rid of it. And I'm kind of glad I did anyway. Dude's here. The dude's in the kitchen. Hey, dude. It's a motley it, duo. It is a motley crew for sure. We you are motley. Believe. If I just made the money like motley crew. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> exactly. 
Yeah. So, I mean, uh, yeah, yesterday was, uh, it was a good conversation you guys had, you know. Um, <coughs> and then now, ne now next week, now next week, <clears throat> we're going to have um, Jason, uh, Jason, just Jason oh, Keto. Oh, just Jason Keto. Okay, good. He's, he's, he's a good no, he's no, he's not coming on with us. He's going. <coughs> he's going on after us. Okay. He is gonna, he's right. going to. He's going to do Wednesdays after us at eight o'clock. So I told him we're going to okay. try to limit it to two hours. Okay. What we're going to do, and then you know he's going to email me exactly what his talk is going to be about, and uh, we'll give him a little advertisement. See if people will go over there and and uh, I like hang it. out with him. I yeah. like it. Let's do it. Yeah. He. He's a good guy. Um, I caught his replay of his live last night because after I got off, I, I had a, some I had so much stuff to do I wasn't able to go watch it right then, but I caught the replay and I, he's good. <clears throat> he knows what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's he's been he's been on it. I've been watching a lot of a lot of other ones and um, I'm a little conflicted with with the um, with everybody. And it always seems seems to be the bandwagon about wearing them um, continuous monitors. Yeah, and, and, and you know what? I, what, just... what bothers me is, I mean, I'm I'm type two diabetic. No matter how you add it mm -hmm. up, okay, until they tell me different, okay, which I don't think they will because they want to keep the medication going. And um, but the thing that bothers me is I have three different testers that I test. Okay, mm -hmm. and I do them all. Through, I did one time. I did all three of them at the same time. You know, one after the other after the other. Uh huh. And three different numbers. Yeah. Way, yeah, way off, way off numbers also. You know, so I mean, I mean, I even I even brought up to my doctor. I said if I was insulin on insulin, and I took this first one, okay, I would have to I would have to shoot myself with with insulin. Hey, frugal mama. Do the second one, I'd be borderline. The other one, I wouldn't <clears> need <throat> anything. So I said, it's, I don't, I just don't I don't understand the meaning behind it. And you know, no matter what you you can eat. Put an ice cube in your mouth, and your blood sugar is going to go up because you <coughs> you're absorbing that sugar. Man, all of a sudden, I haven't been coughing all day, and all of a sudden, right now, I'm doing it. Mike, are you allergic to me? I must. I must. Uh, I must. Wow. Yeah, Alan's wearing one, and he loves it. But uh, my wife wears one, but she wears it because she's got the pump, and it's it's synced up with the pump, and yeah, it it decides uh, it can give insulin on its own. You know, you can give insulin based upon the reading. <clears throat> it's, you know. I, I watched I watched one person with, with it, had it on, and said, wow, after two hours, it went down after I had some, whatever they ate. Well, yeah. that's a normal person right. with a normal blood sugar level. That's right. normal. Right. Me, me, on the other hand, it doesn't come down after two hours. It just stays up and sometimes goes up higher and stays there. Yeah, Steve over at Serious Keto, he's got, he wears one. And, um, but he does a whole lot of, uh, he tests in a lot of his videos to show what the insulin or what the the, the spike is on certain things that he, you know, yeah, but when that, he tries that's it. all, it's all different for other different people. That's right. What and he tells it's, people that. He said, now, nah, this is just me. It may be different for you. Yeah. So I don't see the point is my, is what I'm trying to get at. You know right. I mean? Right. Cause uh, you know, you're going to be different. So yep. I, don't, I, don't just... I don't need, I don't really need to test that much. I don't need to know. My, I was telling Marie earlier, I said, you know what? I said, all this, I was watching, I've watched a bunch of them today. I'm not going to say who, or whatever, but I watched a bunch of them to where uh, some of it, you say it all the time. Don't make it complicated. Right. Okay. Right. They're making it complicated. Oh yeah. <laughs> They're making That's it complicating the hell out of it. I'm saying to myself, whoa, what but are you, you know, doing? If they if they want to spend the money on it and do it, like, go for it is the way I see it. Yeah, and I and I'm talking and I'm talking about just um account macros and count this and that. Go stop, please. You know, yeah, I, I tried that and that was too much like work. <laughs> That was too much light work. I got I got so tired of that. It was it was giving me a headache. I mean oh, I mean I, I would spend like an hour a day just entering in food so it would log what my macros were. And I'm like, that, that's an hour out of my life. I ain't getting back. Ever getting back. Uh, yeah. I mean, know, it's gone. I'm like, no, I'm done with this. It's gonna get done right here. Yeah. So 
and, and and also I had I had one or two comments. I, I put my video up today about I got you know it seems to be the way to go because um, less editing for me and I just do the, I did the full cook. I had the rice cauliflower. It's not rice. It's cauliflower. I've got it in the in the notifications. I have. I've been working up the notification from the oldest. It's there. For I me. did. I did from start to finish, Mike. I started peeled the onion. Okay, mm -hmm. cut everything up, cooked it, sat down and ate it. And the whole video was thirteen minutes, but the total from prepping to cooking was ten minutes. So okay. I mean, uh, I, I had had a little chat with somebody else, and they said, "Well, I don't have the time in a day to that's do a, that." That's that's nothing. I, I can, I, I can prep and nothing flat. I, and prepping ain't that hard. And then, and then the same token, they asked me, "Hey, have you watched um, Yellowstone?" Oh, I've been been watching Yellowstone. I said, "No, I've been, I haven't been." <laughs> I do watch Yellowstone. No, I'm just I saying. It. I mean, if, you, if you're going to sit on a couch and eating, you know, sitting there eating binge watching something, you could yeah. surely prep food in ten minutes. Right. Yeah. I. That's, I do the I I can prep food nothing flat. The, the, what probably takes longer to to prep for me than anything is uh, chicken trimming the meat off trimming it things off chicken to make it you know yeah. you got to look around on it and find everything to trim off and that takes like five minutes depending on how many pieces I'm cooking you know yeah. see no, normally what I'll do is I'll t I'll take the I'll take the chicken breast so I'll bag them you know vacuum seal them. And then when I get ready to cook, I'll take them out. And well, they're still semi-frozen. That's when I do the trimming. Right. It comes right. off much easier. And you are right. Getting old sucks. There is Drunken Chef. Drunken Chef, what's up, brother? I gotta... Drunken Chef, I enjoyed your video that you the collaboration you did with uh, with Gorilla. I didn't he, see that. He had a little gorilla. They had little gorilla and little chef cooking with them. And it was really good. I have to check that out. I've been, like I said, I've been fighting with equipment. Uh, it, it, they, you know, I love it when the kids are cooking. Lord, I love it. Yeah, I mean, it's, that's yeah. something they're going to think about the rest of their lives. And Frugal Mama, she was doing a, 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 a ghost pepper chips and had it, had her kids and they were eating them and they were popping those things like Tic Tacs. They were... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wow, you know, y'all, y'all impressed the daylights out of me, frugal mama. I enjoyed that video. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I was looking the back and doing it too. I was looking back on. Hello, uh, Nancy. How you hey, doing? Nancy. I'm looking back on some of the people that I've been been subscribed to. You know, like when I first started, you, you, you mm -hmm. go back to a lot of people are not on anymore. No, they're not. Yeah. There's a lot of people that it's not just not posting they're not putting or anything out. Channel still exists. They're just not putting anything out. Yeah. That's kind of sad. Put all that work into it and then all of a sudden just stop, you know, stop yeah. doing it. Yeah. I mean, um, you know, I, I get it. You know, you can get burnt out on doing this. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, without a doubt, without a it, doubt, it, it, you know, and, and I've always, I've told Paige, I said, the second this is no longer fun, I'm done. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'm, I'm having fun, you know, and as long as I'm having fun, that's the that's really what a it, this was all about, you know, having fun and you know, helping other people with keto cuz showing them that it can be done and you don't have to complicate it doing that and then you know, all of these things like that is a, that's the whole reason why I got into this. Hey Ginger. Ginger, how you doing Ginger? I was I was um, talking to Charlie. I gave Charlie a call this you know, today because he seemed like he did, different uh, on different pages there as far as uh, doing with the shorts and stuff. So I explained to him that he can take go back to his. If you're gonna just do a regular short, you got to do it on your phone. Right. Okay. Uh, you can you can do it on on a computer, but it's too complicated. You got to have yeah. a turn vertical and all that crap like that. Right. And right. nine times out of ten, it won't give you that that icon. And won't give it nope. an S icon. Nope. So <laughs> talking back and forth, and I told him, I says, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move in a different direction. I think with just with, with cooking. I mean, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'm gonna still basically do what I'm doing, but I'm gonna add in the 
couple different things and uh, not make it hard, not make it complicated. Very easy. Very easy yeah. to do. Hey, hey, Ginger, are the frogs choking up there where you live? They're choking here in Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, they, that man, they is choking as they float down the stream because it is raining like all be damned here. You see, constant walking. I have to check him out. Because she lives up. She's going North toward, Georgia. Yeah, she's going toward Chattanooga. Okay. Well, she's up by my sister in law there. Yeah. Well, it's above that. Above yeah. that. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's been. Uh, <laughs> she said yes, and she's so tired of rain. I hear you, sister. I hear you. My dogs are too. My dog. <laughs> so Friday's my grandson's birthday. So I'm we're, just me and him. We're gonna go out for lunch, and then we're gonna go to a couple museums in town here. All right. Well, how? Which one is it? The, the youngest. The oldest. The youngest. No, the, young, the youngest guy. He's gonna be. He's gonna 15, be fourteen. Fourteen. 14. Okay. Yeah, he was my he was my cancer baby when uh, I had uh, he was born the day before I had my first surgery. Oh wow! Yeah, so I went and seen him in Fayetteville and then at the, at the hospital and then drove up to Cary that night. We stayed in a hotel and I had a five thirty going to get my first surgery. That's when it that's when it began. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go we're gonna go hit the uh, they have the pinball museum here. Now that could be really interesting. And then we're going to go to the Neon Neon Sign Museum. All right. I could, I could get into that. And then we're going to finish up. If we have enough time, we're going to finish up at the Mob Museum. The Mob Museum. <laughs> Did you see what I told? Uh, we were talking about fishing on Charlie's Live. And, and I said, yeah, he was saying, yeah, I don't imagine you want to fish around there in the, in the lakes and the rivers <laughs> exactly. around Las Vegas. They don't tell yeah. them what you'll land. And I said, yeah. yep. You'll be full, pulling out filet of Tony bag of donuts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I said, I told, I told you all right, it, it's it is a wet cemetery. Is yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. How many have they found so far in barrels? They found, I think, two. Um, yeah, one. It, it's a couple of them are weird. You know what I mean? There was one one guy that was uh, I don't know was tied up or what uh, there was rope involved. Let's put it that way. They said he fell overboard. I said no crap. <laughs> <laughs> fell overboard and landed in a barrel and then sealed yeah. itself yeah. and landed and then sunk. Yeah, woman outdoors, they, welcome in. Woman outdoors, how you doing? Nice to see you. Yeah. So you all ready for Christmas, Mike? Or yeah, pretty much. We got a couple of more. I, well. Actually, we don't really need to buy anything much more, I don't think. Uh, yeah. I think we have all the granddaughters and all bought for, and we know what we're going to get for some of the others, and it's just a question of getting it. You know, yeah. My, mine is just uh, we just gift cards, and uh, that's it. Usually, uh, I tell you, I mean, I'd, I'd love getting gift cards. Yeah, I mean, when we lived in Florida, I tell you, it was pretty cool because. You know, you could, when the kids were little, you we would see them in North Carolina and stuff. Uh, you know, with Christmas Day and all that stuff. Well, two years in a row, we went down to Clearwater Beach Christmas Day. Got there about eight o'clock in the morning, stayed till noon on the beach, swimming in the water. It was beautiful. What a day! And it, I tell you what, it was pretty pretty full with people. I bet. Mm. Man, I well, hey, it, it's. I don't know what it could be. Eighty degrees here on Christmas Day, or it could be twenty. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, never know. Yeah. You never know here. It's it's no consistency to the weather at all. <clears throat> we are going to go. We're going to start. I was going to go the other day, but we we sort of put it off a little bit. But uh, we are going to go <coughs> visit the casinos and take some movies of uh, just the Christmas decorations and stuff. And it's a busy time of year out here. When we were in New York, they had uh, started putting out Christmas decorations in Macy's. Yeah. Well, that was real nice. And they were getting the tree out of, outside of Rockefeller Center. They were It wasn't there, but they were preparing the area for the tree and the skating rink and all that stuff. Yeah. So, and because it looks like it's a major undertaking to get that ready. 
<clears throat> hey, I was looking at that picture yesterday that, that Michelle put up. You guys, like the you, you know the before and after. Uh huh. You guys did good. You guys did really did good. Thank you, thank you, yeah. Rebecca. Hello, Fish Rebecca. Yarn. How you doing? Uh, not oh, not feeling my best. I'm I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus. Well, I hate to hear that. Really, though. But you know what? Yeah. I, Mike, I went to the store the other day, and it, there's more and more people walking around out here with masks on. You know, yeah, uh, you know uh, it's. I, I'm. We went to the. I'm tired of going to the doctor with a mask on. I'm really tired of it. We, <sighs> you know, we went to the doctor today. Paige had an eye doctor. She has to get a shot in her eye. Well, it's, she's moved up to uh, eleven weeks now. So, uh, and the. When she gets to 12, that's maintenance mode then. Yeah. Hey, hey she, um, Raquel. Yeah, hey, Raquel. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm like 10 miles out from the strip, uh, mm -hmm. give or take, you know, eight, eight, or, eight or 10 miles, whatever. So these, these are locals that, that are out here. So when I went to the doctor last night, that had the surgery. Um, big sign, because it's part of a hospital out here. And we went in, big sign, must wear a mask. So when I, we went in, put the mask on. I can't stand wearing them. I hate them. But you got to do what you got to do, you know. So I went in, went into the doctor's office, and I said to the girl, "Do I have to wear this?" She said, "Absolutely not. You don't have to wear it. Just come into the building." So, but nothing, nothing but love. Welcome. Good to nothing, see you. Nothing but love. What's up, MBL? So, uh, but this isn't like in the stores and stuff. I mean, you know, I go, I go to Sprouts. I go to a couple, couple different uh, uh, food stores, and a lot of people, a lot, most of the yeah. employees, are all wearing them. So, wow. Well. You know, the, everybody, as soon as they get out of the doctor's office, it comes off. Yeah. You know, and, you know, she's, when she gets her shot in her eye, she's out, done for the day because she can't do anything. She, you know, it gives her a headache. It gives, you know, because, yeah. And she has to lay down and, you know, it, she's done for the day. She's been in the bed most of the day because of that shot. But it, but it works wonders on making her eye better. Yeah. Hell is here. Man. Kind kind of yeah. Hey, Mr. Sleeper Barbecue's in the house. Mr. Lance, what's up, brother? Yeah, I, you know, I do what I got to do. I mean, if they say you got to do it, you got to do it. I get in the car, I hate wearing a seatbelt, so I got to put it on. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hate uh, it too. I, I can't, mm -hmm. like the song says, I can't drive 55. I can't drive 65. It says 75, <laughs> I'm doing 105. So, I mean, it is what it is, but. Well, um, I'll tell you, I drive slow enough to drive Miss Daisy. <laughs> oh, you you would get a horn full from me, brother. <laughs> now, no now, the reason why I do that is because when I, I've, I've been in police work and I've driven 140 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. And I don't care to do it. See, I was on the other end of that, Mike. But you were the police officer. I was the guy you were chasing. I was doing 150. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I can funny. do this. I can do the high speeds, but I just don't want to do it. It's, <laughs> you know, but I'll tell you what: speed laws, they ain't but one purpose for them. Revenue. Uh, revenue. That's it. Revenue. That's it. Because yeah. I guarantee you, you can name any accident you want and tell me what the condition or the, the circumstances of the accident. And everything about the accident, and it'll be something else besides speed that caused that accident. Yeah. Hello, Jennifer. How you doing? You know what? You know it's funny out here. You got hey, Jennifer. You got a bunch of people out here from all over the country. That, oh that yeah, are yeah. Living out here now. Well, it's like so, a, yeah, you're a melting pot, just like we are here. So the, the, my biggest thing is okay, <clears throat> the blinkers. I mean, folks, oh, don't use them. I mean, it's almost ridiculous. Like, like I told you that story in Sprouts. You know, the guy said, "Well, I, I recognize you. You're the guy that took my pocket spot." Well, you didn't turn your freaking signal on. You know what I mean? I thought he, I thought he recognized me from YouTube. But I was wrong. <laughs> this, this, um, there's a show on Paramount. I don't know if you get Paramount Channel or not. Uh, uh, no, called, I don't. Uh, know. Tulsa King. All I watch is YouTube. He's a, it's got Sylvester Stallone in it, and he's mob connected. 
He's just spent 25 years in prison. He just got out, goes back to New York with the mob, and they say he's thinking he's going to get just welcome back because he didn't snitch out anybody and all like that. And they say, we're sending you to Tulsa, Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, what? <laughs> you might At that point, you might as well speak French. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, geez, you know. <laughs> Well, I tell you, when I first moved down to North Carolina, I didn't talk to nobody for the first first couple of years. Nobody understood me. They didn't understand. One guy said, you ain't from around here, are you? <laughs> yeah. So oh, that, yeah. About 300 miles north there, pal. <laughs> I told you about the guy. I, was, I worked in a gas station when I was in high school on Saturdays. I would do tires and fill the can, t- uh, tanks up and all. It was a full-service gas station. It's getting hot and, in here. Uh oh, uh oh, but uh, you need to turn that fire down a little bit. Yeah, I know. Um, but they, um, they, this guy pulled in there and he had as Yankee an accent as you ever heard in your life. And he and he's he's trying to go. He said, "I want to go to Thomason, Georgia." And I said, "Okay." He goes, "How do I get there?" And I said, "Go up here to the last traffic light and turn left." He said, all right. I finished filling him up, and he took off. About five minutes later, he rolls in, and he says, okay, you got the Yankee. You got the Yankee. How do I know when I get to the last traffic light? <laughs> <laughs> well, like an well, Irishman, an Irishman to tell you, well, you go down the street now. When you uh, see the red barn and okay. the road goes to the right, don't go that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What the hell are you talking about? Oh yeah, he he man he he was good spirited about it, and I laughed. I said, "Man, I really didn't mean to." He said, "It's, it's all right. It was funny anyway." <laughs> he said, "How do I get there?" And I said, "Okay, count this light. <laughs> Counting this one. This is one right here, right here where you at. This is one. Go down here to this light down here. You count off this many lights <laughs> and turn left, and then stay straight as an arrow, and it'll take you into Thomas." All right. <laughs> Well, that's like even even going to to a butcher shop. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, when I was in Florida, I used to go to this Greek butcher. I tell you what, he had some good stuff, really good stuff. But the terminology was all different. Okay, so I said to him, I said, do you, I said, do you, when, I said, you have a good part of the chuck steak? Are you crazy? <laughs> what are you talking about? Crazy? Good part? It's chuck. He <laughs> go. So no, how about the flat iron? That's yeah, too much. Yeah. He to bite the whole thing or nothing. <laughs> I love the flat iron part. That's good. That's a bit he has to get to. I mean, you know, cutting it out, the butchering. But once you do get it out, it's it's pretty good. But I mean, he, me and him used to laugh like, oh. <clears throat> he told me, I, I used to yeah. get a, um, a provolone. I used to get a sharp provolone from this guy. And he said to me, hey, hold on, Tom, hold on a minute. He said, I'm going to give you something. He said, you try this, okay? It was a, it was a sharp Greek, almost like provolone. And I tell you what, Mike, the cheese was absolutely delicious. I mean, it was really good. You can't okay. beat a good cheese. Man, it'll just, it's a, the taste that you get from a good cheese is tremendous. But this ball buster, he, would, he wouldn't leave me alone because here's the next thing happened. The next time I go back, I said, give me some of that cheese you gave me last week. What's the name of it? He'd say to me, say the name. <laughs> you never told me. You had no sign. <laughs> and we go back and forth, back and forth. That's the kind of guy he would. <clears throat> I'm in I'm in his shop one day. This was in Tarpon Springs, right, right on Main Street. And I'm in his shop one day, an old style. Okay, he had Italian and and, and Greek uh, specialties is what he had. So I'm in there one day, and some guys walking back and forth, <clears throat> very impatient, very impatient, very impatient. Okay. So finally, the guy says to me, the, "Daddy the, Dutch." Guy in the corner, in in the back, he says to me. Hey, Tom, wait a minute. Wait a moment. A minute. He said to the guy, what do you want? He says, well, he said, I'm, I'm in, in kind of a hurry. I'm going to get what I want to get. He said, turn around. What is that door? What color is that door? The guy said, gray. He's good because that's the last time you're going to see that door. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. Oh, hey, Daddy Dutch, what's up, brother? <sighs> I, I, yeah. I, I, <laughs> I had a guy tell me, he said, 
bull busting. He, he told me, he said, I keep that outside. And I said, where? He said, just go out the door there. I said, which way do I turn? He said, it don't matter. You'll be out of here and I don't want to see you no more. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I tell you what, I, he had some good stuff though. I mean, he uh, he would he would hold stuff for me, knew exactly what it was, you know. And I I told him I says back then I said to him I says what um, you have goat cheese? He says what do I look like Greek? <laughs> of course you do, yeah. Unbelievable. Oh man. Hey John, how you doing? Hey John. So so what's going I'm telling for this you what weekend? I'm telling you what that man right there, John. Barbecue Rockstar, he has been doing some mighty, mighty, mighty good gourmet type meals, just knocking them out like nothing to it. He did a a, a pasta with a, a butter sauce the other night. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, that was fantastic looking. What I got here? That's good. It's full. But, you know, it's. No, he's getting me water. All right. Mm. You know he. John, I know you. I know you got barbecue in your name, but you just rocked the cooking. Period. Just oh, got we got Charlie. The pieces of St. Louis ribs. Need sponsor. Competition on Sunday. Daddy Dutch is doing a um, a competition cook on Saturday for the uh, um, Toys for Tots for the Marines. Oh, cool. Yeah. He does that for them and see. Thanks to everyone for your help and suggestions. Good info. Cool. Very good. Hey, Charlie, what happened today? I was all, I was watching and then all of a sudden it just started getting. I got the pinwheel just spinning, and it I couldn't get back to you for nothing. Charlie was playing with buttons. He pressed the wrong button. Let's see what else going on. What do you got going for the weekend, Mike? Anything special or? Uh, well, Friday I'm going to be here by myself because Paige's cousin is taking her and her mama up to see uh, her mama's sister-in-law, my 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 wife's aunt, and my cut her cousin's aunt. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to see her. She's um, she lives in Greenville, South Carolina area, and they're going to go up and have lunch with her and. Because uh, her That's husband weird. died but back with the uh, during the pandemic, and they couldn't my my mother in law's brother, and they weren't able to do the funeral and all, so they they want to go up and see her. Yeah. So I'll have that, and then after that on Saturday and Sunday, I don't really have a lot. I'm gonna try and do some filming. I I, I got I got a video that I was inspired by Michelle over at. Uh, uh, life adventures and keto. Uh, mm -hmm. When she she was at a client's house the other day and she spent an hour in the floor with leg cramps because she was cramping up yeah, so bad. I see, I seen that. Yeah. <clears throat> and I I want to. Hey hey Jason. Um, What's up, Jason? They, uh, so I want to uh, as a you know we all talk about how to keep the cramps from coming, but we don't talk about what to do when they come in when you get them. Yep, exactly. And I got something that works for that, and I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to well, do a you know, video about it. And not to get too deep into it again, but I've, I'm going back and I'm doing a lot of research, a lot of reading again on it, on the stuff like that with with all this um, allulose and all this stuff, okay? Uh -huh. And it says, well, studies show that uh, it doesn't affect blood sugar. Who did the studies? How many people are in the study? You know what I mean? It, and and who did it? Do you know what allulose comes from? Do you know what it actually comes from? Not really. Okay. It actually comes from prunes, actually comes from raisins, and it's it's a fructose. So it says, well, it goes right through you. It does it doesn't metabolize through you. Okay. Now well, there's studies yeah. now there's studies saying that it might affect your, your microbiome and your in your gut. Okay, so people are having gut problems because of Oh, I can't have that because I had stomach stomach issues. Must have been that whatever I made. No, it's the stuff that's in there. It's it's all chemically chemically made. In other words, it's a process. I caught a guy 
Twinbrook Acres, good to see you. Uh, I caught a guy the other day in a video. He was a he's a doctor. He's a mm -hmm. bariatric doctor, and uh, he was talking about allulose, and it, and he said he went over. It was about a thirty minute video, and he was very detailed in what he went over, and he talked about the different studies, and he said, right now, he said, what we're seeing, he said you really aren't going to do yourself any harm in, in using it. Well, they he don't said, know. But we don't know everything about it. We haven't seen anything bad yet. He said, now, he said about the gastric distress that some people say, you, am I going to get that because you get it in the other? He said, if you eat enough of it, yeah, you will. He said, but if you just have your, if a, well, a normal amount of it in one single thing, it, it's not going to probably give you any gastric distress. Neither would sugar. Right. But it's, you know, because of the, because, you know, sucralose, some people get it from it and xylitol and all like that. They get the, yeah. uh, the sugar alcohols and stuff like that. And then, then they were to also talking about, um, you know, with the fiber. We talked about this before. Um, right. Fiber, fiber doesn't affect me at all. Okay. It's, and some people, it, it, I mean, my, my older brother, he can't even look at fiber. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But me, it, me, it doesn't, doesn't do anything. So, so it doesn't kick in and that effect is. It's, it's a game that everybody's playing with this stuff and it's, it's all money made, Mike, you know, that, you, you yeah. know, that deep down inside. So, uh, yeah, I mean, even with like Raquel just said, you eat apples. Okay. It's got arsenic in it. You eat a, a peach. It's oh, got yeah. arsenic in it. You know what I'm saying? Ron, so, keto, loving keto. Ron. Yes. How you doing? He hit 400 subscribers this week. Way to go, Ron. Pretty good. I watched him last night. I watched his, watched his, uh, his thing last night. Yeah. he About why I, he's doing it and stuff. Yeah. he. I love it. I love that video. It was great. But, yeah, you know, fiber, sometimes it affects me. Sometimes it doesn't. I can't, you know? I can't, for, the, I can't for the life of me understand. Uh, I, and I, I'm God's answer. You, Marie's my witness. You know what I mean? I don't crave anything, any bread or anything like that. Because if I crave it, I'm going to eat it. I'm going to have it. Okay. And my yeah. my my way of thinking is, if I have a if I have pumpernickel bread, okay, toast it in the morning, all right. By tomorrow, I'll be all right. I'll be back in shape again at home. That's that's not the way to go. I mean, so I have no no cravings for sugar. Okay. Last two weeks ago, I had four four grapes. Okay, put me in a tailspin to the point where I didn't know what the hell was going on. Dang. All right. So, no, I'm 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 done with it. I, I you know I don't have the cravings for it. So, but to make all this all this stuff here to keep keep the triggers going, you get my point, Mike. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it, it, just, it don't make any sense to me. There again, I keep going back to you know you don't give an alcoholic near beer, you know. Yep. And say, well, here, it's alcohol, but you'll be fine with it. No, it's just going to keep on going. We got Radio Jonesy in the house. We got Belt Loop 29 in the house. All right. Hey, Thanks, Belt Loop, buddy. how you doing? What's up, brother? I've seen something that you Jonesy, were in the hospital. How you, how you, what? Belt Loop was in the hospital? No, uh, Radio Jonesy was in the hospital. Oh, Jonesy, you okay? I seen something a little Ron, bit last night. Ron's been having trouble with his internet, man. I feel for you there. I've, oh, then we go there with me with that one. Oh man, mine went up and it went up and down so often. It's been up now for about three weeks. <laughs> Come here. Without going down. Hey, so, look, see. I live with the Mad Hatter. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Look at here. You know what? I like that hat. Oh, Jesus. She's going to get the mail. Don't let the mailman see you. should put a stamp on you and send you somewhere. <sighs> what was it, Dale? Well, oh, what? It was an episode of uh, MASH. And BJ and Hawkeye, they had gotten Frank drunk and he passed out and they, they put a toe tag on him. Oh. And, and they, it, they wrote on their, uh, Something like uh, feeling no pain and whatever, something like that. But it was a smart ass remark that they put on there. And uh, folks, the you know they he stumbled out and got ended up in an ambulance. 
<laughs> that comes to the front. He went to go to the bath to the latrine, and he stumbled and he went into the ambulance. And the ambulance driver took off to go pick up wounded and bring him back to the mass unit. And he he ended up at the front and he slept right through it. And uh, they call and said, uh, Are "Y'all missing the doctor?" And they name of Burns and Potter says, "Yeah." And he's got BJ and he says, "Y'all know anything about this?" He's He's sitting there. He's got a toe tag on, and they said, "Hey, we just addressed him. We didn't mail him. <laughs> <laughs> we just addressed him. We just uh, Ron Ron saying he was saying he seen a, a keto bread in the <clears> store <throat> and had like thirty ingredients in it. Why do they yeah. do it? Money. That's all yeah. it is. It's all the money. Yeah. But they're it's using us for guinea pigs. They don't give a damn. Uh, I I keep I keep going back to to when they first told me I had diabetes, battling cancer at the same time. They turn around and tell me that, well, go see your endocrinologist and they'll, they'll fix you up with, with a uh, dietitian to get you going on on, uh, on your way to getting off of the medications for diabetes. What a joke. <laughs> you talk about comedians. Holy crap. Uh, eat this, eat that. That's why when I, when I started with the Mediterranean, people said, well, you're not doing the Mediterranean right. I didn't say I was doing complete Mediterranean. I was doing Mediterranean different foods made it keto. No beans, nothing like that. So I lost two pounds, and uh, it stuck. So just almost like my subscribers. You know, for a while, you can't keep them. No, it goes up and down. Up like and down, up and down. But I lost two pounds doing it so far. So, yeah, I'm going to stay with it. All right. Well, you know, Michelle said something interesting last night that I think I'm going to give it a try just to see what it tastes like. She said to give it a like a bean consistency. She puts green beans in her chili. Hmm. So, what the heck, you know? And she says, and it, and and she gets them, you know, and kind of separates them and lets them, lets the pot, little peas in there, the little the little beans in there come out. Now, see that 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 that's the other thing. Now, people, people saying, well, green beans, you can't have green beans because they're high high starch and high, uh, high sugar. Okay, but I'm not eating a field of them. You know what I mean? Right. I'm right. Eat a little bit of it. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's why. That's why. I'm, the more natural that you eat, all right, you know, the fructose, you know, fructose and, and some of the stuff and everything, I don't, mm -hmm. I can't see going to a box and, and thinking that, that it's good. Right. You know, since, since we were kids, it's been the same way. So, but yeah. You know, I, I personally, if you don't want to eat green beans, great. If that's your reason for not eating them, go for it. Me personally, I don't see a thing wrong with them. Nope. Exactly right. And, uh, you know, and don't get on me if I want to eat them because I ain't going to get on you because you don't want to eat them. So, yeah. So, I'm <laughs> sometimes it just don't make sense. I'd be just somebody said, if I, I watched today, this morning, I watched four or five different videos on what people were thinking about keto. And, like I said before, the complexity that they put onto themselves was almost ridiculous. Almost ridiculous. That's mm -hmm. why that that what my thing was today, what I did today was 10 minutes. You can put together a meal to where you're full the rest of the day. You don't need mm -hmm. no snacks at night. You don't need anything else. Once you get full, you're that's it. It's over. So when, when you're putting gasoline in your car, you're paying five dollars a gallon for gas. Okay. When the pump yeah. shuts off, what's it doing? It's full. Yeah. You're not gonna put money more and spill it over. So that's the I, basically what I'm trying to get across. My I got a video coming out. I think it comes out. Well, no, I have a. I've uh, edited it. No, I haven't uploaded it yet. But it's uh, I'm stir. I'm doing a stir fry, and took me prep and everything about fifteen minutes. You know, and it was it was easy enough. Jonesy says he spent last night in the hospital getting scans on the brain. Uh, they were looking at a couple of spots. My vertigo is is not getting better. But hey, I'm here. Wow, Jonesy, I'm sorry to hear you going through that, but thank you for joining us. What do you have, vertigo? Yeah, he had vertigo. I've had I had about a vertigo one night, and just that's the only vertigo I've ever had, um, and it was. Uh, uh -huh. I, I got up to go to the bathroom, and as I'm going to the bathroom, things start spinning, and I ended up crawling back to the bed. 
because I, I tried North walking, I'd have ended up in the floor. When I lived in North Carolina, Marie found me out in the yard. Okay. Now, other times it might have been that I was drinking, but this one I wasn't. I just got uh -huh. done taking my blood pressure pills. Okay. Uh -huh. When I was going out to the barn, walking across the lawn, down I go. Mm -hmm. Right. Rushed me to the hospital, the whole bit. She brings all my my all my medications that I was on at the time. It's probably close to 18 different medications at that time. All right. And they wanted to know in the hospital who prescribed all these blood pressure pills to me. I was on three different blood pressure pills. Didn't need it. See, that's that's a lot of pills. Sure. Kenneth. Hey Kenneth. Kenneth, North what's up, bro? Barbecue addict. Yes, sir. So, I mean, I mean, it, it, it puts, they'll give you stuff. You know what I mean? It made me laugh. When I went to the surgeon, okay, they said, you have to sit down and fill out this paperwork. And let us know what kind of medications you have. And I'm, I'm not doing it. Well, the girl says, well, what do you mean? I said, well, call my, my provider, okay, and get my information from them. I just filled it out beginning, beginning of the year. Nothing changed. Yep. Oh, no, but you got to fill it. I said, I don't remember. I don't, yeah, I'm I in too much pain to write. Oh, they fax they fax it over. So I mean, here's the deal. Now I, I went to one doctor back first of the year, a urologist, and I went online on their portal, did all their documents and all on the portal, everything, answered all their questions, uploaded it, said it uploaded just fine. I get there, <laughs> I get there, they hand me a stack of papers and say, fill these out. And I'm going through them. It's the same stuff I did online. And I told him, I said, this, I already did this online. Well, yeah, I know we got it, but this, we have a paper backup. I said, print that. Yeah. And so said, I, no, I mean, we don't have the capability of printing it. And I said, Jesus. And so I, I filled it out. Uh, I, I get into the examination room and they're asking me the same questions and filling it out on there on the computer as they talk to me. That I have just done <laughs> twice. So that's three times I'm ask, I'm answering these questions. Yeah, I mean, God Almighty! And then they walk you to the back of the freaking office to, and take your blood pressure and get on a scale. Yeah. So the, yeah, yeah. The, the oh. girl, the girl who walked me to the back. Okay, let's put it this way: her nickname wasn't Twiggy. That's for sure. Uh, All right. <laughs> You know, and then when she looked at me and looked at the scale and wrote the numbers down, I, hey, you get on now. Let me write your number down. You know, we'll compare numbers. But Jesus, I mean, it, it's it's a game. That's what basically what it is. I mean, we need doctors. Don't get me wrong, anybody. I mean, yeah, we do. Okay, but they're really wrong about what we eat and how we eat. And all of a sudden now, this diabetic bull crap is starting to turn out to be more of a, I think, more of a money maker than anything. Honestly, they all know what the problem is, but they just don't, they won't, they won't take care of it. Guys like us, Mike, they don't like. No, I, I got way back when, when I was going, I went to the doctor and I was a lot heavier than I am now. And, uh, but yeah. I wasn't at my heaviest. The doctor, he, he was bigger than me, my age and bigger than me, you know, and, and I was probably in my forties at the time. And he said, take care, Nancy. Thanks for coming in. Take care. Appreciate you coming in. And he says, you need to lose some weight. I said, okay. <laughs> and I said, he said, I want you to uh, lose such and such amount of pounds. I said, why don't we do it together, Doc? There you go. And he said, we're not talking about me. I said, yeah, sure we are. I just brought you in the conversation. And he said, no, no, we got to do this. I said, I'll tell you what, Doc, we'll go outside. We'll right here on the floor. I'll match you push up for push up. I'll match you sit up for sit up. And we'll go out there and we'll race in the parking lot. I guarantee you I'll beat you. I, I remember going to the doctor's office going to, when they when you get done and they bring you into the office and sit down there and even talk to you there. OK. And in, in the exam room, he's telling me, you're a young guy. He said, this is, I'm going way back. He's. You ought to lay off the cigarettes. You better stop quitting smoking. Okay. I'm looking at it. Okay. Well, yeah, I thought about it. Okay. We go and sit down in the office. He's got a big ashtray on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Loaded with cigarettes. I said, let me talk about the pot calling the kettle black. Holy crap. <sighs> Brian. Um, you know, 
We got the bearded Italian in the house. Bearded Italian, my man. Brian, what's up? Let's see here. I see Belt Loop said, uh, anybody going to be in Houston on the 27th? They're having to get together. And nope. let's see. Hey, Chef, I see, you, I see you got the pup. Scully, I believe his name is. Nice little dog. From, I got the dog, a little uh, Boston Terry from uh, Belt, I mean, uh, Double Dog. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. My dad I, used to raise them. We used to, used to have them all over. There. They're nice little dogs, but they're My son machines. and daughter-in-law have a, they have a Boston Terrier. That, that dog's old now, too. But she's a great dog. Friendly, just as friendly as she can be. Let's see who else is in here. So, dude. Did we miss anybody? Off, I don't think we've missed anybody. Yeah. Um, getting and you know, going back and forth now. Now that I'm doing with, with dealing with that Mediterranean again right now, I tell you what, my shopping has been so much easier. Uh, oh, I bet. So, so, so much easier. The only thing I'm having trouble with is, uh, like I said, with the uh, uh, seafood and stuff like that. Maria, don't, Maria doesn't like fish. Um, and out you can imagine out here, it's super, super expensive. Well. Yeah, I mean, she does like shrimp and scallops, though, right? Yeah, I mean, I we do that a lot, but I wanted to get into more a little bit more like yeah, but, cod yeah, and, and, and uh, some stuff. Yeah. I like mackerel. I have the smoker. I wanted to buy some fresh mackerel and smoke it uh, uh, in my smoker. I like I like that really good. But uh, I'm going to do it. I'm yeah, I'm going to do it. Mackerel's really good. I love mackerel. Yeah, we want them good oils and stuff like that. So yeah, I go next. Um, I guess right after, between Christmas and New Year's. I think, no, no, it's right after after New Year's. I go back for my blood work and stuff like that. I'm sorry for your loss, Lance. Hmm. Well, really yeah. close, close to the. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's tough. It really, is tough. Dude, how the weather out there in I, I, Idaho? What happened to the dude? I, I'm just asking him how the weather is in Idaho. He was up here a minute ago. I tell you what, they, they, the weather going across country was, whew, we didn't get anything here. I mean, I could see the snow-capped mountains like crazy, but we had little swirls of rain. When we get... When we get rain here, it's like a, a humid day in Florida. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, that's the only way y'all get any humidity. Yeah. Unbelievable. Because, I, man, I mean, that was the thing about it. I, I, there in May, and it was over 100. And I, I'm telling you, I didn't break a sweat. Not no. the entire time I was there. Not a oh, no. single drop no. of sweat. No, but I tell you what, though, you could, <laughs> when it's humid, the other day, when, you know, humidity, when I'm saying humid, humid, like 35%, I guess, uh, you actually can feel it. I mean, at that, just that, I don't like that clammy feeling at all. Oh, no, that's mm -hmm. our constant feeling here in Georgia. That, that, mm -hmm. Ginger will tell you, it's, here in Georgia, that's constant. Yeah. Well, Florida was like that. Yeah. You know, ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Southeast. Anywhere in the southeast. Yeah. You're going to get humidity coming more than you can stand. And coming coming from the northeast, I mean, well, I just got deeper and deeper into the humidity. <laughs> you know, from New, Jer from New Jersey moved to, uh, in my younger days when we lived in Houston, it, I thought that was bad. <laughs> but New Jersey's got bad humidity? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. What is What's my your most, most go-to go meal? meal? <clears throat> Kenneth, I use I I do I do a lot of beef. I do I, lately. I've been doing a lot of pork lately because of the beef prices. But uh, I'll do that with some. Uh, I use green beans. I use asparagus. Uh, what else? I have we eat some salads and stuff like that. But basically, I eat go through a lot of beef. And uh, the whole idea with this this whole thing that we're doing is is to stay full. 
I don't, I don't still don't understand why people eat three meals a day if they're doing keto. I don't, I don't get that. Mm -hmm. I really don't get that. Uh, the whole idea is to get full, right? So I'll eat a steak, uh, or, or whatever this time of year. Now we'll make some soups and everything else like that. And just try to keep the carb count down. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's basically my go-to. I mean, a lot of, a lot of people do burgers. I mean, I grind my own chopped meat. So, uh, make my own burgers that way and stuff like that. Just, just get away from that, uh, mindset of the bread, uh, potatoes and stuff like that too. Mm -hmm. my, right. In the wintertime, it's, it's a soup. I'll mm -hmm. go for a soup because it's. You know, it's warming, and I can make a keto soup. Yeah, I can, you know, it takes no time to put together. And then, you know, you just let it simmer. And I can make a keto soup that'll knock your socks off. Yeah. And, um, but otherwise, I guess my favorite go-to meal is, uh, is the egg roll in a bowl. But I do it with, uh, it's, you know, I, I get the cabbage in there, and, it's always going to have that, but I can vary up the meat. I can do sausage. I can do ground beef. I can do various kinds of sausage. I can mm -hmm. do uh, chicken. You know, I can do regular beef, you know, cut it up and do it in there. Yeah. there it's unlimited what you can do in it. And, and it's probably my favorite because I can vary the meat. And, and, and that's a nice thing to do. So that's, that's yeah, those two things according to the time of year. And they're both and, Kenneth, and watching some of Kenneth's videos, the, the only thing that you would really be careful with is some, is some of the rubs and stuff like rubs. that if they have sugar mm -hmm. or, or the barbecue sauce and some sides. Right. Other right. than that. It's, yeah. Barbecue, the barbecue world and the keto world, they very intersect close. in so many ways. Close. Very close. Very close. There is a lot of intersection that takes place in there. But like you said, pro the biggest thing, would if you're just talking to meat, is the rubs. Because mm -hmm. most everybody does some kind of rub. That's why Uncle Steve assured me that, uh, what, you know, what he had. I mean, he has some cornstarch in it. Right. But that, that's not going to really affect me. Because they don't, they don't put that much stuff on there anyway. No, now, the cornstarch is going to be minimal in there anyway. Yeah. Now, yeah. Kent, on the other hand, Daddy Dutch, his, <laughs> his sweet heat. I dare anybody. I dare anybody to use a lot of that. I dare him. I swear <laughs> to God, I did but I like it. I mean, it's, I like that. I put that little bit on, I'll do it on salads and stuff like that. My best thing is, is on sausage, especially if I make a sweet sausage and I want I feel like something hot that day. Mm -hmm. I'll take that and I'll, before I cook it, I'll, I'll throw some daddy Dutch in there and mix it up. Now, on the other hand, now let's, let's, let's just, let me, let me cover everybody. Marie, we make cheese crackers out of, out of cheese. She thins it out on the paper. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then she she pulls from the hidden space where I don't know where she keeps it, but she'll pull out chef's uh, chef's rubs, okay, and then she'll put them on a, on the cheese there. <laughs> now, the, now the other night here, I'm thinking it was a jalapeno, but she put out that ghost rub. Uh oh, uh oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? She it must get a little heavy handed, or I said something off color to her, or whatever. All right, and I bit into this <laughs> cheese thing. Boy, I tell you what, I went up like it looked like a Roman candle. Man, it was hot. It's good. I, I wasn't here one night, and I did his jalapeno, and I put it on a steak. I did the jalapeno on a steak and cooked it. <laughs> and that was the first time I had cooked with it because I had just seasoned stuff because I Paige doesn't want anything to do with anything spicy. So I put it. I took a bite, and I'd had it nip. You know, you felt the heat, but it wasn't. You know, it was really nice. And I was not expecting, not that it was really hot, because it wasn't. I just wasn't expecting it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, and it nailed me. <laughs> Mike, for a while there, I was, <coughs> was buying, buying jal uh, jalapenos, okay? And it was 99 cents a pound. So you get, I mean, I can get a ton of them, right, before you get a pound. Mm -hmm. You could actually eat them like you were eating a regular pepper. They weren't hot at all. Even the seeds yeah. weren't hot at all. I went to a different store. All right, and I bought them, and I, as I come home, bye, Hala. Marie starts cutting them up. All right, appreciate you coming in, Hala. I reached over, grabbed a couple of peppers, put them in. Good night. Yeah, and I said, after I did that, I said, okay, note to sell. 
this stuff intensifies when you cook it. <laughs> <laughs> I said, got it, store it away. It's so, not, and I've cooked with it since, but I'm ready for it. You know, I'm I got. Not, I, yeah, I don't get blindsided by. It. I got to take a picture because we got. She brought all her babies in inside. Okay, and I got to take a picture. I don't know what they are. All right, they're this big. All right, and one one looks like it. It should be lit up. That's how orange it looks. All right. So Miss Weisenheimer that I'm married to, she's cutting up. She pulled them off the tree, you know, up the bush. It's like a tree. It's like six foot. I she have pull- never seen a pepper plant that <laughs> yeah, if I could, I wish I could take my camera out there. But she's cutting this thing up, and all of a sudden I hear her out in the kitchen. I hear her, whoo wee <laughs> <laughs> And she don't like that. <laughs> I mean, she likes it, but not, not to that point. <clears throat> and that was another one she snuck in on me. Holy moly. <laughs> she said, want to know what she's telling you what they are? They're called hot ass peppers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but outside, they didn't oh, do nothing. Man. I mean, they had a couple little buds, flowers come up, nothing. Brought it in the house. This thing's thriving. I might even open up a roadside stand. Tom's oh, hot yeah. peppers, hot ass peppers. Hot ass. <laughs> Ground beef and eggs. That's what Jason's. Go to is, yep. Ron, Ron, you still in here? What's your go to? Did what's your favorite thing to make? Your go to meal? Are you still in here, Ron? It might be. If you're still in here, go for it. Tell me what. Tell us what it is. Yeah. See, I and also I got into the discussion the other day about um, I went well. I watched somebody else that does pretty good sized channel too. Um. Less fat, more protein, uh, uh, keto, okay? L- a little carb. So I said, well, you know what? That's good. Uh, I can't because uh, the, uh, the more chicken I eat, my blood sugar goes up. The leaner the meat. So I got to have a little fat. So when, once I once I do the fat, I'm in good shape. My blood sugar comes down. So I will eat. I will eat and naturally, the fattiest meats that you can buy is ribeye and stuff like that. And you can't, you can't touch them, you know? Yeah. I seen for one one steak the other day, thirty four and change for one steak, oh. and that's what that's what me cooking it. Yeah, it's ridiculous, man. That's why I, I've gone to getting the cheaper cuts of meat because they just I can I can tenderize them, you know. I can get them to be more tender. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I got, I mean, I have the smoker out there, <laughs> so I'll I'll take them and I'll make the burn ends and stuff like that. With pizza him, is Ron's uh, go-to. He loves to make pizza the most. I like that. We one day we made chaffles. I know Jason makes a lot of chaffles and stuff at different recipes. But remember, I, sh- I showed you that one video I, I did with I uh, made shrimp uh, chaffles. Yes. Okay, it's sh- shrimp and scallop scaffolds, uh, mm-hmm. sh- chaffles. Well, one day Marie made. She put a little tomato sauce. It's already got the cheese in it. Some garlic, some pepper, some onion. Okay, mix it all up, put it in in a little chaffle maker, and bingo, that pizza. There you go. So you, when y'all do chaffles, you just do cheese and egg, right? Most of the time, that's what I. Well, make I mean, maybe egg. some seasoning, of course, too. But yeah, you know, yeah. the, the, she's been going off the hook with it. She's been making all different, all different ways, putting it in. Now, my next thing is I'm gonna I'm gonna make some more of that pasta. I have another uh, another <clears> video <throat> coming up where I'm gonna make that homemade pasta. With, you know. Good night, Twinbrook. Jason says he can get two decent ribeyes at a local farm each week for $25. Dang, that's a deal. Yeah, and see, you're I mean, it from the farmer. I love that idea. Cauliflower pizza, almond crust pizza, pizza. What state Pizza are you in, Jason? What state are you in, Jason? He's in Canada. Canada. Okay. Oh, you ain't in a state. <laughs> what yeah. part of Canada are you from? The cold part. I made <laughs> cauliflower pizza, almond crust pizza, pizza in a mug, broccoli crust pizza, chicken crust pizza. I've never made the chicken crust pizza. I want to make that. I want to try it. Ron, <laughs> what's Ron's last name? Gump? <laughs> uh, 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 
Uh, he's in Massachusetts. Oh, he's Ontario. In Massachusetts. Okay. Okay. Ron's in Massachusetts. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see over here. Am I? Is it Mizzen or is it Mizzen official channel? I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Hi, good to see you. Welcome in. Mizon. Mizon. Okay. Okay. Cool. Mizon official channel. There's a couple people in here I've never seen before. I I'm subscribed to him to that channel. I like it. It's got some good okay. stuff. But uh. Let's see, sir. You know, start, I've have you made the, have you ever made the, uh, fathead dough pizza? Uh, no. Um, no, I have. I it's it's pretty good, but it's you got to roll it out and all. It takes See, time. Seems like a lot of work. You know, to roll, keep rolling that cheese out like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I I would just as soon have it in a bowl. Uh, but I do want to try the, you know, the other. But I just soon have it in a bowl. This is what what I'm talking about now. I'm going to make that that um, the uh, macaroni that I made. You know the the uh, that I got from Alan and from the ketogenic woman. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that out very thin. I'm going to make a pizza like that. It's all traditional, basically. I'd rather just have it in the bowl. Some peppers, yeah. onions, some some cheese, a little bit of sauce in there, and I'm done. Yeah, it's, it's everything that goes on the pizza. You just don't have the crust. Yeah, don't have the crust. Um, Ginger, uh, it's the uh, egg roll in a bowl, and I do have a video making it out there. Yeah. It's, uh, and I, when, I, when I tell people, I play with your food. I mean, I don't know what I mean. Different ways. I mean, just you know, different ways of doing stuff. If you stop and think, okay, you take – Basically, we're all immigrants uh, from all, all over the world here in, in the States. So we, a traditional hand, hand down was uh, East Coast. We liked the crabs, okay, some seafood, stuff like that, okay? Out here out in California, right, they, have, they also have their Dungeness crab and stuff like that. So it's all basically the same, you know yep. what I mean? Even, yep. even in, you know, you get into Iowa and stuff like that, you know, all the corn and stuff like that. It's basically all the same recipes, you know, the mm -hmm. ethnic foods. So yeah, uh, I'm not. Uh, Daddy Dutch says he likes. He's done a ton of soups lately. We in the winter time we'll have soup a couple of times a week minimum. And uh, I've got one I'm gonna do, and it's gonna be sort of a different take on a. I want to say gumbo, but I know it ain't a gumbo. You know, <laughs> it's gonna be a bit. It's gonna be a different take on it. So. You you can make the gumbo and also make it use it with the uh, avocado. Mike, you can buy the frozen avocado cheap. Yeah, I got some. I use, use it. I buy a bag. In fact, I got I think I got five pounds of it. I think it was like seven bucks. You I know, was all putting frozen. in smoothies. I'd make smoothies and I'd put it in a smoothie. Yeah, but put it in your soup. That can it helps thicken it up. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I got one and coming I'm out. I got one coming out because uh, actually, uh, uh, Ginger and um, uh, Michelle from um, Big Valley. Uh, can't remember big valley living okay she asked me how what do i do is with all the other um spaghetti squash that i do well i either i don't put it in a vacuum seal bag i put it in a ziploc bag put it in a freezer already cooked yeah in in a ring leave it in a ring and i put it because i don't vacuum seal them because it's a waste of bag because that's how fast we use them right so i made pork and spaghetti squash soup that's coming up on a 28th uh and what I did was I took part of the spaghetti squash, cooked it in, in with the chicken broth, and also I made a demi glaze from the I Take made care, uh, I made ribs, and I took one spaghetti squash and I hit it with the immersion blender, thickened it right up. Huh? Yeah, worked out fine. Worked out really. I wouldn't good. have thought to try that. Yep. But the immersion blender is going to knock it all down into into. It's going to emulsify the heck out of it. Kind of take care, brother. Nice. Thanks for coming in, man. I appreciate it. Uh, Ron, Ron said that uh, he was saying I ought to do a whole week of uh, just pizza mm. recipes. That's a great idea. Hey, Dutch, you I didn't forget you. I don't know if he left it or not yet, but Dutch, I didn't forget you. I got that. I got the uh, barbecue sauce. I'll send it out to you. And, Probably after Christmas, and, I'll send it out to you. 
you're right. Two Crazy Ketos does have a lot of great recipes and also uh, Keto Connect, although they haven't been putting out a lot of contact, uh, content lately on Keto Connect. It's um, They've been more doing the blog and and such as that. They're, and they're, I know that Mega has had some health issues. I, I don't know exactly what's wrong, but she's had some health issues and she that's and they got two little ones, and that's consuming a whole lot of their time. Yeah. So it's, uh, but they're, you know, they're still there. They live in the Atlanta area. <clears throat> I, everybody says, well, it's so hard. I said, I'm going on two years. I have no problems with it. Jason summed it up nicely. Keto Connect are in family mode right now. You're absolutely right. But yeah, they live in the Atlanta area. They've uh, uh, somewhere up on the north side of town around Cobb County, North Fulton area. Now, now next, now next week when Jason goes on, uh, he didn't know. Here's what I like. Okay, Jason was going on. He was him and home whether he was going to go on Wednesdays or or this and that. Don't want to step on anybody's toes or whatever. And I I I like that. I agree with that. Okay, but you know what? <clears throat> Not everybody that's live everywhere else is into into keto. Well, look at look at what we have here. Everybody yeah. that's here, okay, to come in say hello. I said go for it, man. You know, yeah, you can go for it. And he had asked me, well, I don't want to step on you guys because you know whatever. I said, well, come on after us. We're, I'm not going to do no more than two hours, Mike, anymore. I'm not going to do it. it. It doesn't pay. I'm not either. Uh, yeah, it, it, I, I'm not going to like oh two hours we're done, but it's going to I'm going to wind right. it down. And it's going to be. Right. Yeah. So I worked out. I, I told my, I said to him, I said, you know what? How about if you just turn around and send me an email, what you're going to talk about, and we'll bring it up before before we, we shut down. Just wait and send somebody over to your stuff, you know, over to your area, and we'll, we'll join it. Because he's got a lot of good information, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Ron says he just got a new Cuisinart food processor. The dude, if, dude, you still in here? Because the dude loves Cuisinart. He's got one of those Cuisinart uh, 360 uh, griddles. Mm -hmm. And that man loves that thing. That man loves it. So, yeah, Cuisinart makes a doggone good product. Hey, hey, Ron, I do agree with you. I do agree that you should do the week of your pizza. How do you do it? Yeah. I think yeah, that would go be really for it. good. That'd be a great one, Ron. You know what? That might be a good collab after the first of the year. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Send it out there. You know, talking about the, the people that are in here, they're not necessarily doing keto. There's a, there's what well, we have in here, four of us that are doing keto uh, with five counting. Um, but Meg, I'm like one, y'all one family. So mm -hmm. uh, it's like you, y'all, me, Jason, Ron, is there anybody else in here that does keto? I don't think so, but they, um, you know, it's, um, the, the thing about what we cook, it works for everybody. Exactly. That's my point. That's what you, you know. <laughs> you know I'm, I'm telling you. Yeah, you're right, and that's what I'm getting at. Your point. You don't have to. You don't have to say why am I interested in that because that's keto. I'm, it works for everybody. It doesn't eat it. You know, because it just if most once you start cutting out some of the process, and I'm telling you. If you're not diabetic, you can have a couple potatoes. You can have, you don't have to weigh it out. You don't have to no. just have a little have bit. You, you, have you a half a potato or something like that in one of your meals and you'll be fine. I mean, you're going to have a little barbecue. Cut, just cut everything that you normally would right. do. Cut it in half. Until exactly. you, you'll, st you'll start feeling so much better. The, the problem is, see, here in, the, in years past, okay, that, that, that one doctor I, I, I listen to all the time, he said, what happened years ago was, all right, when Atkins came out and said, oh, you can eat all the bacon you want. Hey, eat more fat, cut everything else back out again. He said, what happened with that is people would eat bacon with French fries. Yeah. Okay, so you got the carbs and the fat. So guess what? It's, it's going to triple, go you know, much faster. So, yeah, I mean, just it's not that hard to do, you know. Don't I'm, worry about what others think. Absolutely right, Ron. Don't worry about it. I am going to the and store. And the recipes, I love that idea. Because yep. there's about a million of them. 
Yeah. You could start right now and do a recipe a day for over a year, and you still won't run out of recipes. Mike, <laughs> Mike, I did, the, I did, I did the seafood. Right. I did, I did one with corned beef. Okay. I, I did, I did a Reuben. Okay. And a chaffle. Yeah. I mean, look at where's, where's it's all in there. I've done them with tuna. Yeah. I've done them with chicken salad. You know, you do the tuna salad and the chicken salad in there and you make it and you, and that's, then you have your lettuce, tomato and whatever else and your mayo on it. And that's your, <laughs> and your, the outer part of it is your sandwich, a pickle chaffle. Hey, yes, I've done that. I'm going to go to the store. Okay. And I'm going to bring my, my, my camera with me and I'm going to ask the manager, excuse me, sir. Can you point out the uh, keto food? <laughs> I'm going to see that keto steak. And, oh, do you have a keto chicken by the way? And, uh, how about that? I mean, come on. Show me that keto head of lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost a where's that keto. Where's those keto squash? <laughs> but but see but see when you first start and I agree with a lot of people too when you first start it's tough okay because you know which you know, if if you're if you grew up wearing two left shoes okay and when you're forty years old you're kind of used to walking with two left shoes okay yeah once they give you the regular regular shoe for the other foot okay whoa how am I gonna do this you know what I mean. So I mean it's 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 hard. It really is hard. But there again, you get through it. You Jason, really get through it. Jason says anything can go on a chaffle. Amen. That's true. Yeah. That's true. I I've actually taken uh riced cauliflower and and <laughs> and did mixed it with egg and some cheese. And put it in the in there and made made it like a hash brown type thing, and mm -hmm. it worked great. Let's let's like Jason said. Let's put together a cha a truffle collab. All right, let's do it after the first of the year because with the holidays, I don't know when yeah. I get one done. Yeah. So what we'll do is I'm 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 going to be doing uh I'm going January New Year's Day. I'm going to go on for a little bit. I'm going to go over uh, uh I'm going to do a giveaway for to get into my milestone here. And then probably on the eighth, or in that area, I'm going to do a giveaway, and then we can put it together from that point on. Uh, we'll set up maybe a, to either the end of January or beginning of February, and we'll make we'll make you know every day to every time people make different you know you have National, uh, you know Toenail Day and you have National yeah, uh, yeah. Hemorrhoid Day and stuff like that. Yeah. So maybe in February we can make make it yeah, national. I love it. Let's do it. National National Truffle Day. Yeah. And have had it, man. Yeah, oh, I meant to tell you, I got a video. I, I think it comes out tomorrow. I think it's the one I've got coming out tomorrow. That um, Paige's, it's Paige's video. She's doing it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> she's doing it. I do the intro. She does the, I, I'm filming and I, and she's doing the video. Like she, usually. Uh, like, it was good. Like usually. Okay, on Wednesdays, Marie, Marie will cook. So that's why I said, let me make this video with her cooking here. Mm -hmm. Just in case something happens to me. I got video footage of it. <laughs> I got evidence from Meg's Mysteries. All these mysteries she's doing, she's got to <laughs> can wipe you out. And never, that nobody will ever, ever, <laughs> ever know who did it. <laughs> it'll, go, it'll be unsolved. If Robert uh, Stack was still alive, Unsolved Mysteries would be out here with you. It would, it would, uh, and she'd be like the Untouchables. Yeah. Uh, and so the International Day of Chaffles. I love that. I love that. Yes, I yeah. do, Lance. I'm ready for it too, brother. Let's do an. Let's open up an IHOC, the International House of Chaffles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, International Day of Chaffles. Yeah, that, yeah that, that could be National Toenail that. Day. <laughs> Did you say National Toenail Day? Yeah. I missed that. <laughs> now, in this video, Paige is not cooking. She uh -oh. is not cooking. She's preparing something, but it's not cooking. Okay. So, Can't wait. It's coming out tomorrow, you say? 
I, I believe it's the one that comes out tomorrow. I'm almost positive of it. Let me look over here and see what it says if, if I got it over here. Uh, I'm I'm done with videos for the month. I'm up to the, the 28th. Let's see. Yep, coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow's oh, the 15th, right? Tomorrow's the 15th, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, 10 o'clock in the morning. There's a pizza. That's 10 o'clock my time, so 7 o'clock your time. Pizza I'll for a dollar, favorite pizza. I got to tell you, but I, 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 I told you this one time before. When I lived in North Carolina, the, the pizza and what they call pizza and what I call pizza, two different things. And it's like a, like the uh, ocean and the bay, you know what I mean? <laughs> two, different, two, two, two different places. But we went to, we uh, went to, a, they had a barbecue cook off downtown Clinton. And we went down to walk around. All of a sudden, I see this, this place with black awning and gold lettering, and, you know. Uh, what the hell was that name of that place, Murray? And, and, and irregardless. But anyway, I'm, they were selling pizza out there for a buck. And I said, let me try it. it looked, it looked decent. And I <laughs> picked it up, been into it. And I went, oh, this got Jersey written all over it. Oh, this got Jersey. Oh, this is Jersey. Isn't it? Come to find out the guy, the chef is from Jersey. <laughs> oh, well, I, I, you were, you were in Clinton. Clinton, North Carolina, yep. There's a story. I don't know if this is true. And <laughs> everybody forgive me for telling this, but it was just funny. I don't know if this is true. I preface it with that. But according to legend, a tornado named, I don't remember what, not a tornado, a hurricane came and, hit, and it came through there after it hit the coast or something. And I, I'll call it, Hurricane Dorothy. I don't know what the name of it was. But the next day in the Clinton newspaper, it said, Dorothy blows Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> the, the other night, they, 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 on, on Facebook, there's a bunch of guys in the next town over from Clinton, where, where, right where I lived, okay? It was called Salemburg. Okay, Salenburg, North Carolina. Now you talk about rural. Okay, it had a hardware store. Okay, you could buy anything in this hardware store. Of course, the street was a gas station, hair salon. Next to next to the hardware store was a barber shop, Mister Harold's. Then they had a little diner, a couple other little buildings. That's it, done. You go up one block up. They would have, uh, they just put in uh, the Dollar General. So that was like going to the mall, all right, to the Dollar General. But then up the street from there, there's a place called Salemburg Pizza, okay? So Friday and Saturday night, you couldn't get a parking spot at Salemburg Pizza. So I go hey, in Uncle. there. Hey, Aloha. Hello, Uncle. How you doing? So I go in to Salemburg Pizza one afternoon. I'm looking all around. Mike, I kid you not. Okay, they had they had a chocolate pizza. A what? A chocolate pizza. So what they did was they took the crust. Okay, they put white chocolate on it. Okay, and then they put make it to look like meatballs or whatever. I don't know what they were trying to get it. And they put chocolate, regular dark chocolate around on this thing. Hmm. I said, I don't know guy, what to think about that. Yeah, I, I said to the to the guy behind the counter, I said, "People eat that." He said, "Number one seller." Hey, if it sells, go for it. You know, I said, you were in the this, restaurant industry. Give your people what they want. And not this guy. I, said, I wouldn't have to explain that to my doctor. Well, I only had two slices, you know. Mm, <laughs> yeah. But up yeah. the street from there was up the street from that place was what they called the Tar Hill Challenge. Okay. And that was where um, they would send the misspent youths <laughs> to, and they trained them. Everybody was in uniform, and four or five o'clock in the morning, they'd have them out there marching, jogging, the whole bit. And around a corner from there, Salemburg is well known from around a corner was the state police. That was where they did all the training. Oh, they had the gun range there. They had okay. they had uh, they had a course there for you know for the driving, you know, for all the police officers, and yeah, but it was it was run by the state. They also had the forensics building there. The 
police academy for us here in Georgia is in, in Forsyth, which is so, right in the middle of the state. So I used to carry with me all the time, right? So I'm, in, I'm coming out of the barber shop, okay? So where the barber shop was, right up the street, was the shooting range. And I didn't know because I had no, I haven't, haven't been back that far. I didn't venture out that much. Because I didn't talk, nobody. I, I was like, I was like the Frenchman there. Nobody understood a word I said. <laughs> so, so I walk out of the barber shop, and all of a sudden they commence firing at the gun range. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Holy crap! And then once I found that, I said, "Oh man, look at this! <clears throat> Quite the experience." Funny. So me and Marie go into the diner. I like supporting local, local oh, business. Okay. So we go in there mm-hmm. and we sit down at the table. And the girl comes up, all very nice. What can I get you to drink? I said, I want an unsweet tea. No, no, no sugar. Just lemon. Marie, I'll have the same thing. I said, I just want a cheeseburger. That's it. Nothing else. Just a cheeseburger. Nothing on it. Plain. I'll put my own, my own stuff on. Just a plain cheeseburger. Okay. They say to Marie. What do you have? She says, I'll have the same thing. She said, all the way. Marie says, yeah, all the way. <laughs> Marie's, mine comes out and on a plate, and all of a sudden, Marie's comes over. It looked like she was carrying it on a garbage can cover. That's how big the tray is. <laughs> My, Marie, Marie, Marie thought that all the way meant cooked. Well done. Oh, no. That means you get everything they can throw on it, on it. This Marie looked at me like, <laughs> what the hell? I mean, <laughs> this thing was that big. I mean, it was huge. Yeah, on the plate. Yeah. Well, Marie starts laughing, and once Marie starts laughing, can't stop her. Okay. I mean, she's banging her head's hitting the table, laughing so hard the whole thing. So the waitress comes over. She says, "Is everything all right?" Marie said, "Can I have a napkin?" <laughs> Now you needed a tablecloth and a dry cleaning service to take care of that one. Yeah. We left our butts off. Wow. Well, I um, yesterday was our anniversary, and we went out to eat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell this story because it tells you that you can go out to eat and eat keto. Sure, I do and all the time. Here's what we got: we went to a local restaurant around us. It's called Three Blind Mice. I don't know and, if I would want to go there. <laughs> yeah. Really good. It's a chef driven restaurant and they the menu changes constantly. You know, it's not a there is no one set menu. Thank you, Ron. And they uh <coughs> they um uh, on the menu they had a they had salmon, pan seared salmon. Mm. Hey Krebby. And we've Paige Love got that, know. and it was with uh, cauliflower puree. So mashed cauliflower for all practical purposes. Was it rice, was it? No. No, it was just regular cauliflower that they pureed. Mashed cauliflower. So we had that, or she had that, and she got a side of, uh, of uh, uh, roasted asparagus. Mm-hmm. I had a filet and it had a uh, hollandaise on it Mm -hmm. and then I also had a uh, with it I had uh, the roasted uh, asparagus for an appetizer we got the stuffed mushrooms the only thing they were stuffed with was sausage and cheese that's it Nothing else in it. Don't get no better. No. I mean, you know, and we ate that and we were good. That was, I mean, <laughs> stayed clean. You know, there was nothing bad about that meal at all. Thank we you, go, Marie. Thank you. We go to this place over here and, and it's, a, it's a Tuscany grill. So uh, I had one one buddy of mine say, ah, that sauce is horrible. There. I don't like the, I don't like the sauce. Well, it's a Tuscan grill, so it's mostly beef, okay? Right. You know, it's it's not not made for macaroni or whatever, but they no, do no, they you, do you, they do have it. So they have chops, mostly beef though, right? But they make a filet mignon there that is to kill for. It's really good. 
Okay. They make the hollandaise, but they put the hollandaise in, in, on the side. Like a little, looks like a little pitcher. Put that on the side. I'll get that. Then they either have cream spinach or broccoli. Okay. <clears throat> either choice there. And we get, we get, um, um, a salad. Okay. Uh, do you want, oh, I said, no, leave the croutons. I'll, I'll take them off. I don't want them, you know, just some, whatever. And that's it. I mean, you don't need no nothing else. No. I mean, I, I was, man, we, Paige, she ended up not being able to eat the uh, asparagus she got. She was full. <clears throat> you know, and I, I try to explain to people also, from the way we eat, I'm not forcing myself. Let me tell you something. If I'm hungry, I'm going to eat. That, that's me. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm going to eat. I ain't going to sit here and starve. Right. So, you know, it's just, uh, people say, well, you're doing intermittent fasting. I said, no. I eat when I'm hungry. When I'm hungry. Okay. Right. So now basically what I do is we eat, I eat quite a bit of eggs. Maybe you don't eat that many eggs, but I, I'll, I don't like hard boiled eggs. I don't like soft boiled eggs. I don't like them. I like them scrambled. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Mary, my Marie will take uh, the scrambled egg, put uh, jalapeno peppers in it, some green onion. Uh, might mm -hmm. drop a little bit of uh, uh, pork rinds in it, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, scramble them up. I have, usually have that like between 12 and one. That's when I get hungry. Right. And then three between three and four to six is when we'll, we'll if I'm cooking or film or something like that, because everything we film, that's that's, that's what, what we eat. eat. That's what. That's, yeah. That's yeah everything. You know I mean? People say, why don't you do a day of eating? I'm doing that. You know, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what, what's your day of eating? Well, I watch my video. It's about eight minutes yeah, long and that's it. What but, I eat. That's what yeah. I eat. You know. Hey, so and, and, just, just title it. What I eat in a day. Yeah, and, do that. and do it. I was watching Michelle yesterday, and she's talking about it. I. I got to step up my game, <laughs> drinking water. Mike, I got. I live with Gunga Din. Okay. <laughs> every every time I turn around, and look, she's going to get more. Every time I turn around, she's got, in my refrigerator. I have three of them cups loaded all the time, waiting to go. Okay. So then I said to her, I said, "Marie, you're killing me. I'm drink. I, I think I got enough water in me." I need to drink more water. Drink more water. So then the, today, last night was the only time I slept in a long time that I slept through the night. I got up 6.30 this morning and I was went in to pee. <laughs> right? And I was in there for like 15 minutes, it felt like. Oh, with the water coming out of me. Flash flood but, warnings being issued on the strip. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah, see? Henderson so. Family Farm. Good to see you. Hey, Mitch, what's up? <clears throat> So I mean, I, I get plenty of water. So I, I yeah, I do drink a lot of a lot of the water. That also helps you. Yeah, you know what I mean. We, you yeah. know, with with that. But I I just for doing as long as I can. When we first started out, yeah, I ate three times a day. Okay, no snacks. I tried to, and then I could feel, I could feel the. Um, I can't have that. No, you can't have. That. I don't want the restrictions. I don't want restrictions. Trumpet Let, master, how you doing, Lewis? Let's say, Lewis, I want to, I want to, I want to control my, 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 my way through this. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's, that's what we did. So next thing you know, I'm not hungry. One day Marie says to me, are we going to eat or what? No, I was full. No, but that's, you know, I, I don't see how everybody gets that, that. You know, I, I'll show you today. We were on the way home from the doctor. The doctor's appointment was at eight o'clock. And so. <laughs> By nine o'clock, we were out of there and on the way home. And Paige was hungry, and I said, "Well, let's just go to Waffle House." And believe it or not, you can eat keto in Waffle House. Yes, you can. And <clears throat> what we got this morning, we got eggs, bacon, and sausage. That's about <laughs> it. That's as keto as it gets. Yeah, I mean, there and even even uh, the Waffle House, see, you can, I mean, uh, what IHOP. You, and, and, and IHOP, you do the same thing in there. Right, you just got to watch it when you get, if you get the uh, omelet, because they put a little bit of pancake batter in that omelet. Yeah, 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 see, I don't, I, I, I'll just get scrambled eggs or something like that. Right, but, right. So, but if you get the omelet, no, you're probably getting a little bit of pancake batter, because that's how it gets to be fluffy. So then, yeah, and then we went when we came from Florida to move out here, okay, out to Vegas. 
stop in every place that we stopped at. It was like, wow. You know what I mean? Well, what are we going to do? What are we going to, we're going to eat. That's what we're going to yeah. do. We're going to yeah. eat. You know, I don't want this. Yeah. I don't want that. You know, well, it comes with that. How about extra vegetables? Yeah, okay. That's good. You want extra carrots? No, I can't. I don't want to, I don't have carrots because I'm a diabetic. I can't have it. You Most, dictate to them because if you want, mm -hmm. if, if they want your business, they're going to help you. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's not hard at all. Yeah. And we got flooding here in Georgia going on because we've had rain for the last two weeks to beat the band. Ginger talking about that. Yeah. We'll go like yesterday. We didn't get any rain, but today we're getting rain again. I don't know what it's supposed to do tomorrow, but I need to get me a weather rock. <clears throat> we you know uh, what a weather rock is, right? I have no idea. You set the weather rock up on a tripod and it hangs and you set it outside. Mm -hmm. And you go out there and you look at it. If it's wet, oh, it rained. <laughs> if it's got snow on it, oh, we got snow. Uh, <laughs> the weather rock is never wrong. Oh boy, I, I bid onto that one, didn't I? <laughs> boy, I fell right into that one. If the, weather, weather if, the, if the tripod's blown over and the rock's on the ground. Windy. It was a windy, really windy day. Hurricane. All right, you got me. Yep. Yeah, all right, you got <laughs> me. You don't have to rub it in. <laughs> Oh, uh, man, <clears throat> the weather rock is never wrong. It's, it's more accurate than the weather, man. Did you see the one I did with Marie from last week? With uh, well, she she made the uh, romaine lettuce, so I take the romaine lettuce. Okay. Yeah, try. I was it. so glad to see you do that because I, I that is good. You can saute any leafy vegetable. I remember. I I'm so old. <laughs> that I can remember, okay, when you got, when your mother brought home from the grocery store, brought home iceberg lettuce, okay, and I had a romaine lettuce, that was payday. Somebody got paid because the romaine lettuce was because people were coming over and that was for the people. I got the iceberg lettuce. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so the, when, the wrapped up head of lettuce was definitely <laughs> family stuff. That's true. So then, so then, when Marie says to me, "We used, to, we used to, I used to make all the time escarole, which is leafy, a leafy lettuce, Italian. Okay, we used to make the escarole, sausage, and bow ties. Okay, and, and I'd make make a nice sauce for it, a light sauce. And we every party we had at my house that that was like the big thing. Everybody loved that. So one time I couldn't find escarole. So Marie says to me, "Oh, don't worry about it. Just get me some romaine. What are you talking about?" Romaine. Yeah. Her mother used to do it all the time. All the time. I'm telling you what. A little, little pepperoncino on there, some garlic. You can't little, beat squeeze it. a little lemon. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's why yeah. if you if you get like mixed green salad in a box in one of those uh plastic boxes in a or whatever you call them. Or hey Alex. In a bag. If it starts, hey Alex, if it starts going bad, Cook don't it. toss don't toss it. Throw it in the pan, saute it, or stick it in a bag, a Ziploc bag, and stick it in the freezer, and then cook it later. Now, <clears throat> I'm, go I'm going back to, to one of your videos, okay, when you did the wedge salad, okay? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that was a big seller back in the day. It's, I'm telling you. and it's big, but, but here's what here's what we would do. See, we would take, we'd have a big bowl of ranch dressing, okay? <laughs> we'd have the bowl... In another bowl in ice, okay? We'd have that ranch dressing very, very cold, okay? And we would take it and open it up a little bit, like fan it like you were fanning cards, mm -hmm. and then put it into the dressing. So get oh, the dressing yeah, this... get the dressing inside the, of that. Yes. And then put it on a plate. Okay, we had like a rack, let it drip off a little bit, and that would put onto the plate. We used to have the guy making them salads in the walk-in box to keep everything cold. He had a station inside the walking box to do that. Then he would put the bacon on it. Then he would put whatever, you know, we had like two or three different choices with it. But yeah, that was, man, wedge salad back in the day, man. You you didn't get no better than that. She's, Marie said you can put the uh, romaine in the chicken soup with little meatballs and it's like Italian wedding food. Yep. 
Yep. I hadn't thought about that. That's true. It would be. <clears throat> Her mother used to take me to scramble an egg, put you know, whip up an egg and drop the egg into that into the soup also. There you go. Yeah. A little tiny little tiny mm -hmm. meatballs. You Just can drizzle it in there. Just drizzle it in there. Yeah. Asparagus tips. Yeah. Uh with the little meatballs and stuff like that. It's good stuff. Really good stuff. I like Alex, the, how you feeling, buddy? Hope you're hanging in there, partner. Yeah. I have uh actually diced up um what's the word? Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. And put them in soup. It works great. You know, and I say dice, just slice them up. They'll the the soup will take care of the rest. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, just cut them up and the soup will take care of the rest. I, in fact, last year, right, one of my, one of my videos that didn't. Hey, Johnny, how you doing? Johnny Small Peppers here. Hey, Johnny. I took Brussels sprouts, okay? We had cooked some of them and I had some left. And I ran them through the processor. Mm -hmm. And I made coleslaw out of them. There out you of go. The Brussels sprouts. That'll little, work. Yeah, heck now, yeah. Now, if I've heard people say, oh, I don't like the taste of Brussels sprouts. It takes on a whole different flavor. When it's cooked, yes, it does. Uh, it, yes, it does. Raw, it is a rough one to handle. <laughs> Unless you like it. I mean, you like yeah. you did it where you cut it up and you did it as a coleslaw. That's different. You flavored it up with stuff. Yeah, uh, if you I, cook it. It takes on a whole new flavor. And, and not not because I did it for a living or anything like that, but just think out of the box a little bit here and there. Right. I mean, you yeah. know what I mean. That's how recipes are made, and you don't have. People say, well, you need a quarter of a teaspoon and that. Get the hell out of here. No, you don't. You just Put it you, know, you get what you like. Exactly. <laughs> and, exactly. I mean, I, I keep breaking everybody's chops about uh, who they get. I know with you, I you started <coughs> between Dukes and Hellman's and, mm -hmm. and stuff. Okay. Going back and forth just to break chops. Yeah. With, okay. I'm a Dukes, man. Yeah. You know what? I never had Dukes before until I went down south. It's good stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. It's good. But I like mine better. Well, hey, there you go. You know what I mean? I make my own. So if I had a better immersion blender, I would do the Dukes. I mean, I would give the Dukes up and make my own, but I don't have a really good one to do that with. It doesn't do it. My um, uh mine started. And I could if I'm sitting there whipping it till it gets to the point of mayo, I'm I'm gonna be like the Popeye guy you had doing the <laughs> all, all day. You know? Yeah. I mean it don't make sense. Yeah. So. I mean, you, you do what you convenience. What, what's Thanks, good, Johnny, but, for sharing it out. But you also you also got to be careful what 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 kind of crap you're putting in your system. That, that's why. Well, and I know I keep saying it, and I probably get flack back from it, and but <clears throat> it, it is what it is. Uh, you got to be careful what you put in your system, especially with this box stuff, because they these people don't give a rat's ass about you. Excuse my French. Yeah, they don't give a rat's butt behind about you. What you're doing, they want that buck. That's all they want. That's it. So. That's that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Um, you know, I I'm you know talking about things taking on a whole different taste when you cook them. Radishes, yeah. radishes is another thing. Like people say, "Oh, radishes are too harsh a flavor. It's too tart. Uh, too, too much." Cook that bad boy, and it takes on a whole new flavor. You know daikon, I mean? daikon's the same thing. Yep. Can you cook up that? I know. I know people would were making uh, uh, mock spaghetti out of uh, uh, palm uh, hearts of palm. Hearts of palm. And that's another one. Same yeah. same deal with it. Yeah. A lot of work. You know. What I mean? Yeah, it it is to cut it them is. up and stuff like that to make them even. Blah blah blah. Yeah. But the the thing is, I, I do the egg life wraps. Oh, by the way, <laughs> we are almost two hundred over two hundred fifty thousand. Views between the two of us. Between the two of us on. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. wow. And I, got a, I got a 20 percent off coupon. <laughs> One time. I said, I gotta split this with my partner. How am I gonna do this? How do I give my Ooh. partner 10% of a coupon? <laughs> <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Well, I'm gonna I gotta go and look at the videos and uh, start making that pasta that you and Alan have been making because y'all both raved about it and I gotta try that. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do one this weekend. It probably won't come out until after, after the holidays. Uh, I found a di different way of doing, it, but there's different different methods, Mike, to, uh, to about cooking it because we can make them into wraps, also. Okay. Huh. A lot cheaper than the egg life wraps is, was what my point. What I was getting to. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, you can freeze them tortillas, chips. Oh yeah, are you okay. talking my language now? Because I yeah, I am a sucker for a chip. Yep. So, and then thanks to you, I've been. <laughs> now I just bought five pounds of pepperoni. <sighs> or <laughs> what did I do? Well, you made you made the one with the pepperoni chips. Oh, oh. Let's look at this nut. What he's doing to me right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. That's so good. Remember, I said to Marie is. last night. She says it's like her mom. It's past your time. You can't have no more of them. Make me some chips. <laughs> and it don't take any time at all in the microwave. No, no, no. You knock no. that bad boy out just like that. You but know, see, she it, see she thinks she's smart. Okay, she thinks she's a wise guy. All right, she puts either chef's hot, hot stuff on there, uh, and no, and she took them little peppers from that tree that's right out here, and she ground them up. Oh, real quick, real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because she has a she has a jar that says Megs. See, I'm giving you all this evidence right here in case anything happens to me. You're the chief. You're, you are the. It's you all the, on tape. It's all recorded. You're the chief inspector. <laughs> <laughs> they call to me Inspector Clouseau. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Clouseau. <laughs> Mike Clouseau. Uh, yes. Is, does your dog bite? No. Yeah. <laughs> you said your dog does not bite. That's not my dog. Not <laughs> uh, slapstick coming in now. Oh, man. Yeah, but I mean, even, even with the cheese, I mean, we get the... Um, you know, for, for a while there, I was I was buying the block cheese, okay? Then I'm running through the processor. It's just not worth it for the amount for the amount of potato starch that's in it, okay? If if I'm gonna worry about that, here's what kicks me gets me nuts, and you know how I feel about this. They'll other other ones will bust your chops about eating that kind of stuff, okay? But yet. They'll throw up a box of keto chow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mix it up, suck it down, and yeah. there's 50 ingredients yeah. in there. You can't. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. At this... Yeah, Ginger, you can make uh, chips out of pepperoni. Uh, I ha You can do them in the microwave, you can do them in the oven, whichever you prefer. They both come out great. Uh, but I've got a video out there them. showing how you make them. And it's only, you don't have to cook it. It's like, I forget it's like two minutes or less in the microwave. Yeah. And um uh, and they they will crisp up just like a chip. Now what you gotta be prepared for is it is going to intensify the heck out of the flavor of that pepperoni yeah. to the point where you're gonna get some heat from it. Yeah. Just don't go in unprepared. It's not unbearable. My wife my wife will eat them and she she will eat a few of them. She doesn't like a lot of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, but it's and she doesn't do spicy, so just be prepared because if you're not prepared for it to intensify a little bit with the heat, you're gonna get caught. <laughs> it's gonna yeah. you go like ooh. You go. And and the little trying to marry too, she puts on extra spice on it just to. Uh, yeah, try this one. Uh, <laughs> was it hot? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. Put good. some tahini on it. Put some tahini on it. The uh, <laughs> throw the, some tahini on it. You can also also take them and, and put a little bit of, of uh, mozzarella cheese on it. Okay, and you know maybe that, that'd be like a uh, I call it a half-assed pizza. You know, without oh, without yeah. the, there's a ton of different things you can do with all that stuff. They are there is. I mean, you know, I took egg whites and made chips from them. And just a little cheese, a little seasoning in there, chips. I That's took what... cheese. You just take regular sliced cheese. Yeah. Uh, cheddar. Take it, quarter it, and put them in the oven and bake them. Yeah. You got cheese. You got just like a Cheeto. It tastes just like a Cheeto. You can put some um, um, ranch seasoning on it, and it's really, really good. So now I got now I got like uh, maybe one or maybe one and a half of the eggplant that I grilled up in, in the, one of the videos I did. That's in the freezer, all ready to go. So I'll take one of them, okay, get the oven heated up. I'll cut them into like into slices, pepperoni on them, some cheese, okay, 
little olive oil on it. Bang. So they're crisped up. Now, all good Ron, snacks. All good snacks. Ron, Ron made an excellent point. Keep an eye on them because you don't want them to burn. Yeah. And it is. Because they will if you're not careful. Yep. Just remember, when you're cooking them in the microwave, you can always add more time to it. But once you done cooked it too much, you can't <laughs> take that time away. Yep. You can't. <laughs> that's, that's the fact, Jack, right there. Right? <laughs> that's it. But it's all that, all that, all that stuff like that. And, and plus, for what, what I pay for, like I said, I buy in bulk, so I got a ton of it, okay? And at night, I'll have... I burn them too, Marie. <laughs> probably probably a dozen a dozen little little round pepperonis okay and the only thing you got to i watch is when i look at the labels there is sometimes there is some added sugar to them there is sugar that's that's put into the pepperoni yeah uh, you, you got to pick the right ones yeah you got to pick the right ones so i mean if you're getting if you're going off brand you know yeah you watch that stuff but if you get a halfway decent one and i tell you what it's not really that expensive so they're not i mean even the the Hormel ones that you get in the bag, they're 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 great. They're good, yeah, yeah, heck yeah, yep, 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 yep. And you can, I mean, you can, uh, you can get them in the little small ones and make the little mini chips. So and, Marie, and I'll Marie, tell you what's good there with that, put them in soup. Put them in soup. Ah, wow, 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 wow. The little mini ones, just throw them in there in soup, like like oyster crackers. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now Marie takes the parchment paper. The size of the plate that goes inside the microwave. She cuts it round. And I think she washes them too, but the, the jury's out on that one. She won't tell me. Anyway, she'll take uh, either either a Monterey Jack and Cheddar blend, or I get the Mexican blend, basically the same thing. Mm -hmm. And it just puts out a light, makes a ring out of it. Light, not a lot of cheese, makes it light, goes around in a circle. And then she'll put in jalapeno. I uh, get them little mini bell peppers. She'll cut them up, put them in there, some green onion. Okay. Or she'll cut up uh, some pepperoni, put that on top of it, put that in the microwave, takes it out, let it cool, and they get, they get like crackers. Has she done a video on that? No, um, we're going to do one. We're going to yeah, do one. Yeah, do one. That would be a good one to do. And That's then an one. take some sour cream. Okay. And put that in the middle with the crackers up there, and you have yourself a little dip with yeah. the sour cream and stuff like that. Good stuff. Yeah, all I you know, I put them on some parchment paper on a on a big platter, put it in the microwave. Comes out great. And if she, you you know, just add a little more time to it if it just not if it's not as crisp as you want it. Now you right. when you first pull it out, it's not going to be real crisp because it's still right. hot. You got to let it sit for a minute. Right. She'll also she'll cut them with, with the with the uh, pizza cutter. Oh okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. She cuts this, them when they're hot, still hot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, she, otherwise, oh, she waits till they're that gets a little, a little cool, and then, then she'll cut them there. But Thanks, uncle. also, take care, uncle. Um, I thought he was leaving. Then, what you, last year, what I did was I made cheeses. <clears throat> okay, with Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. Put that out. Put it in the microwave, and as it as soon as it came out, it was hot. I, I poked the holes in them. It looked just yep. like a cheese. It puffed up the yeah. same way the whole bit. <clears throat> Yeah, so that, it is. It works. There's ways of getting around that, you know, uh, buying that stuff. There's no label reading. Cheese. What's this? What's it saying? The ingredients? Cheese. Cheese. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. What else is in it? Cheese. cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Just put a little salt on it, and you're good to go. But the cheese already has salt in it, so you don't want to put too much because you're mm. going to be sitting there going, "Whoa, yeah, what, <sighs> what, water, yeah, yeah water." <laughs> <laughs> Man, I tell you, I, I tell you well, what I want to do. I want to get a shelving unit, a metal shelving unit like you see in restaurants. Mm -hmm. And I want to put it just off of my kitchen. And I'm going to put my appliances on there. Oh, there you go. And then pull them out when I need to use them. Go instead to, of them taking up room in the cabinets. Go to, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, on uh, Facebook. The... Uh, Oh, marketplace! Marketplace, yeah. Type it in, see see what you find. I I found one uh, on Amazon that I, I need. I don't need it more than about uh, maybe a couple of feet wide, you know, uh, two or three feet. Yeah, no more than that, and because it won't fit in there if, it, if it's any yeah. more than that. And uh, 
it was like 50 bucks on Amazon. And I'm like, oh, that's cheap. That ain't that's, bad. That's cheap. Enough. That ain't. And you can either get it in the black or the silver or the uh, chrome looking. We, <laughs> Marie, if you look when I'm, when I'm cooking on the stove, if you look over to the right, that's where I kept all my um, spices and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's in a tiny, tiny closet. Go to the other closet on the, on the other side. It's a couple plates and, you know, like a lot of open space in there. So I see Marie. She went, hmm. -hmm. So I came in. I was editing the video. Hmm. And I hear clang, clang, boom, bang. <laughs> she says, come here. What do you think of it? All right. Um, Listen um, to her logic. Listen to her logic. Come here. What do you think of it? Already moved everything. <laughs> When they ask what? you, what do you think of it? Do you know, okay, what have you done? <laughs> okay, yeah, it looks good. So the other day I went to go get spices out, open up, there's dishes. They're on cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. So, but it, you know what? It made, it made a lot more sense. You know what I mean? But it's just getting going to get used to it. And see, I'm going to put some of my spices. I want to try and uh, get something that I can set down on there and keep some of the spices on there as well as the... Uh, the appliances. Yeah, exactly. You know, and and that Thank way you. I don't have it as all because I've got a lot of them beside the stove, and I got my cabinets full of spices because I I use different ones for different things. You know. Yeah. I mean, I I, I got my kitchen aid that I used to make. Uh, well, I, I actually I had the grinder on it. I used to make my sausage out of it, and that, the gear blew up on it, burnt on it. Okay, so I ordered another gear, put the gear on it. I put it in myself the whole bit. It worked for a little bit. The other gear cracked, crapped out on me. Okay. So I put, bought another gear, put another gear in it, the, the whole bit. <clears throat> and I just said to Marie, it's not worth it because I don't really use it. You know what I mean? I won't throw it away. You know what I mean? But if I ever have to mix something up or whatever, that's, I'll, I'll use it. But it's cumbersome it's, and it's in the way. Yeah. So I'm getting, I'm getting to the point where, guess what? I had it over 10 years, got my use out of it. I think I'm going to vamoose it. Vamoose it. There you go. So there you go. <clears throat> there's certain, certain things that we, I mean, I have, I have my grandmother's Dutch oven. Oh, wow. Okay. So my mother was born in 1918. So I know my grandmother had it from back that, that far back. Uh, you know I mean? Cast iron. Oh yeah. 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 There you go. It's on a on the bottom of it. You can't see the, the numbers. They're almost worn off. You can see oh, a couple man. numbers, but you can't find out how much it is. That thing I'll never get rid of. No, yeah. no, that thing. Shoot, all the seasoning that's on that rascal. Oh, oh yeah. man. So I did that one video. I did. I did uh, the pork cushion. I did it inside. Uh, onions, bourbon. I remember that. I saw that. I'm like that. I liked. It. I said. I said then. I said, man, there's been a lot of cooking in that in that Dutch oven. And and I used to I used to use I used to put green apples, peel the green apples, cut the green apples up in that, mm -hmm. and cook it down like that. So it's almost like an applesauce with the, with the pork. But that pulled apart, Mike. Oh God Almighty! That's one. Marie says you did you put the autumn flames in that? <laughs> Shh. Well, I tell you, I've uh, I've had a couple of times where I'll be. Some grease will come out, and the pan will catch a little fire in, in the pan, and and they just like, oh my god! I said, relax, and I just put a lid on it, and it's out, you know. Yeah, well, I put I put about four ounces of bourbon in the pan. <clears throat> we used to do it all yeah. the time in the in yeah. the restaurant, but I had a so suppression system. Put it out, you know. I put it. I put the lid on it, and it's out, and nothing flat. You yeah. Know? Mm -hmm. I said, she. I said, you get excited too easy. <sighs> They get they get nervous. That's that's the you know the, the problem. Yeah. But, no. <coughs> what do you got planned for the weekend? I I'm gonna try and do some videos. I'm gonna try and do some videos. Uh, hopefully, I can get several of them filmed on Friday, doing things. I've, <coughs> I've, I'm gonna make this. Uh, I, I want to call it a gumbo, but it's not really a gumbo. But I can't think of anything better to call it, you know. Okay, yeah. And because it, it's going to have stuff in it that ain't in a regular gumbo, you know, hey. and it ain't going to have okra in it. Yeah, that's for sure. Hey, whoever, because, who's yeah. ever left in in the uh, in the chat here, Jason, in thirty minutes is going to be putting up a um, a video, a premiere. Oh, cool. Yeah. 
So I'm going to put that up there. Um, if something I wanted to, to something to eat when I get off of here. Yeah. You know, something I wanted to tell you, and I can't remember what it was. Uh, oh, my, <laughs> my camera took a dump. Did I tell you? Again? I dropped it. Again? <laughs> Again. They're not answering me. Uh-oh. They done got tired of replacing your camera. I sent four or five emails. Mm -hmm. I guess the robot got back to me about it. Okay. And now I'm fuming. Okay. What are you doing with Jesus? Well, come to find out. All right. I don't watch the news much. I, I, I try to stay away from that crap. I don't want no part of it. Okay. But evidently, they're starting to shut back down again over in China. Oh. Okay. So, yeah. So, they said uh, most of the industries and stuff like that are put back down and locked down or partially locked down or something like that. So, I said, I was oh, waiting. Man. Yeah. So, I said, maybe that might have something to do with it. It but, probably uh, does. And I got to actually, and then when I talked to Amazon about it, they said... Uh, that, that more than likely that there, there that there's a problem with uh, you know the communication or nobody's there, yeah. basically. So wow. I said, "Well, are you going to honor the warranty?" Oh no, no, <laughs> that's a manufacturer's warranty. That's that a manufacturer. I don't know. Yeah, they're not going to do it on a manufacturer stuff. Yeah. So I have when I I had uh, the first air fryer I had, a friend bought it and gave it to me, and. He got it from Amazon, and he didn't know it, but it was a used air fryer. Uh -huh. And he had to cook a dump. And then I told him about it, and we I called Amazon, and Amazon said, yeah, we're not doing it. Uh, you got to go to the, that. And then we, so we, I got in touch with the factory, and they said that was a used unit, so we're not doing it. And then... My friend, he went back to Amazon and he said, look here, these people sold us one that quit. And they said, oh, really? And he goes, yeah. And they said, we're going to refund your money and then we're going to go after them and tell them make good on it to us. Mm -hmm. Or we're going to ban them from selling anything on Amazon. And That's he said, all right. You know, and then so he, he did that and then he ordered another one and then it came to me, and this one is great. It's it's it it's, works great. I love yeah. it. So yeah, so I, I got an I got another one. Okay, another camera. I like a backup because. And here's what I was doing. I was setting it up to have different angles. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I set it up in the tripod, the main tripod, and I walked away as I was walking away <clears throat> off off the tripod. It came and it hit the counter, the stove, bang, and hit the floor. I picked it up, did smash up or anything like that, turned it on, but it wouldn't record. Um, the light would come on, but it would just wouldn't record. So they stand by it, uh, you know, 100%. So what I did was I uh, called, I tried to get a hold of them right away. And like I said, mm -hmm. they, one time they come back to me and I had to send a video of what was going on. And then a couple days later, when I seen on, on the news about uh, the China, you know, after that, whatever rioting they were having over there and something something they shut down or some bull crap like that but i got a hold of amazon i said this is baloney okay i said i spent what what i spent for it okay and the problem is now i can't get a hold of nobody i said i'm a big shot on youtube okay i need this camera my peeps want to see my videos yeah. okay the girl sort of laughing. I said, I don't. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I told her. Kidding around. She said, I'll tell you what. She says, you have credit coming. Uh, they also offer uh, uh, some kind of uh, coupon and stuff like that. So I got it almost half price. There you go. For a new one. So I said. Same kind of camera? Identical. Identical. All right. Has matter of fact. Ma matter of, yeah, I got it. Matter of fact, they stepped up. Now, they, now they're calling it the Pro. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. So this this thing is uh, actually zooms in by itself. Has the anti shake on it. You know. Okay. Yeah. Works good. Works did you really try good. taking the battery out of it? Oh, I took the battery out of the other one, put it back in again. I did everything. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I did everything. So now I got the, I got the new one. So I'm a little bit more comfortable with it. But yeah. maybe this time next year we'll see how things go. 
uh, yeah, I might might get a different camera on it and <clears throat> and stuff. But that's about it. Well, we're just over two hours, and we've only got six in here right now. What do you think about calling it? I'm done, brother. Whenever, whatever you want to do. All I'm right, good. don't don't go nowhere though. I want to tell you. You know, I told you about I what on Sunday, and yeah. I tell you about later. If yeah. you want to stick around for a minute, I'll tell you. It won't yeah. uh, uh, get you. The, it was too much for a text, but I can tell it pretty quick in person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. Thanks. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it.